Hello, tennis fans, and welcome to Outside the Ball. These are not your ordinary tennis interviews. We're taking you around the globe with the world's best tennis players. Get ready to go behind the scenes and beyond the game. You're watching Outside the Ball. Coming off of the Rio Olympics, we're still filled with pride for Team USA. And we had a chance to get to know our top American players a little better off court. Here are some of our favorite moments. It's long. <laughs> Thanks to Snapchat, fans were able to tag along on the experience. First-time Olympians Sloane Stevens and Madison Keys had some tips for a first-time Snapchatter, me. I just joined yesterday. Congratulate. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm a little late. A little Very late. Very late, but better late than never. How, when did you join? How late am I? Um, Probably a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, years? Like when it came no, out. No, like not a couple years. Like <laughs> yeah. six probably months. Like, no, no wow. like, like two, two years. years ago. Yeah. It came out of my nose. <laughs> what is the best Snapchat filter? Best it depends. Yeah. I personally love the flower crown. My so. personal favorite is the old lady one. But oh. I like that one. I used that one last night. Why, yeah. Why, what would you use that for, for example? Last night, I think I took it and then I was like, am I pretty yet? <laughs> While Serena is also a Snapchat pro, she's considered karaoke royalty. that you are a karaoke queen. Yes. We have a little game for you called Girl Power Pop Quiz. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I've got some girl anthems here, right? Okay. That I'm gonna read you the lyrics to. And you have to try to finish the lyrics. You held me down, but I got up. I got up. What? <laughs> what? What? I didn't even have to finish the first line. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. What's the name I of the song? Like, roar. Roar. After roaring with the queen, we're getting super fancy with oh, Olympic yeah, gold medalist Jack Sock okay, in a dub smash do duet. Okay. So you've got so to get a higher angle and then, then you, uh, there. Oh yeah, that was solid. That, that was, was good. That was, we came in hot right there. I don't know what that was. I tried to do LA. I tried to go here and then here. I'd say we smashed it. But the true winning performance came from Jack and his mixed doubles partner, Bethany Maddox Sands, during their run in Rio. A huge congrats to our friends on their Olympic gold medal and the rest of Team USA for making us proud. From Rio, we're heading back to the States to hang with fellow Americans to see what's poppin'. You're a bit of a pop culture aficionado. I live in Los Angeles. I'll read us weekly, so I know a decent amount. And you've been on a reality show. Yes. <laughs> Let's not forget about that. I tuned in. I DVR'd it. All right. Loved it. I and what does the reality TV star think of reality TV? Let's start with something we all love, The Real Housewives. I watch it. Do you watch it? Yeah, I'll watch, uh, not all of them, I'll watch okay, the uh, the Orange County one okay. and the Beverly Hills one. Okay, so you're, you're, you're more of a West Coast... Watch the West Coast. Housewife. Housewife. Another reality family is the Kardashians, yeah. they're also based in LA, they're practically our neighbors. Yeah. Um, do you watch the Kardashians? No, but I know a fair amount, like, fair amount of like what they're doing, they're always in the tabloids and stuff. So which Kardashian can you relate to the most? Uh, none of them. None of them? I mean, but... From pop culture to American slang, the tennis pros have got you covered. I'm gonna call out some terms, you tell me if you know what it means, maybe use it in a sentence, or tell me if you would use it at all. All right, okay, I'll do my best. Okay, first term is on fleek. Oh, on fleek, I have used this term recently. Um, means something's on point, yep. um, like my ASICS outfit is on, on fleek, fleek for the US Open. So if someone were throwing shade, All right. what would that mean? Throwing shade is like throwing a diss or like something like that at uh, another person, which I can do, but try not to. Can you throw shade with just a look? And if so, can you demonstrate? Absolutely. That's called side eye. Oh, side, side eye. eye. Can you yeah. give me some side eye? All right, I'll try my best. Whoa. While the Americans know how to have a great time, like many tennis players, they also take time out of their busy schedules to give back to the community and fans. One, two, three, boom! 
Ryan Harrison played coach for a day to six-year-old Braylon, a brave little boy with prosthetic legs. Ryan Harrison, you just can't get enough of the game. Mm -hmm. You can't get enough of giving back to the game mm -hmm. and reaching out. Mm -hmm. Talk about the moments you just had. This was a cool kid. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, talk about a, an athlete. I mean, everything you show him, he picks up like right away. Um, it's so cool. You know, I was just talking to his mom about all the things he's learning whenever he's changing legs and he's learning how to run in new legs. And obviously, he's he's six now, so learning how to run with uh, with the actual running legs and it's just a, a whole different movement for him. But everything you can tell that he does, I mean, he picks up super quickly. I mean, it, it's amazing to see his energy level, how much fun he's having out there. It's uh, it's a breath of fresh air for someone who's just out here, just having a good time. I really love to try to give back whenever I can, and to meet a kid like this is just incredible. Just one more reason to admire this guy. <laughs> Always good to see you. Good to see you too, Kyle. Come on in here, pal. You were just out with one of America's finest players. What was that like? Awesome. How much do you like this game? What's tennis like for you? Uh, uh, I love when I try to get the ball. Like, when I, I got it, I got it, and then I don't always get it. <laughs> tennis is fun when you try to get the ball and you get it. That's what it's all about. How good is your serve? Do you know what a serve is? Uh huh. When you fold up and then you try, and then you try to get as short as you can so you can get a point. Somebody said you had a good serve. Do you know who said that? Who? Coach Ryan Harrison, and he's very proud of you. He's looking at you over there. Do you play any other sports? Baseball, soccer, and, and my mom didn't sign me up for archery. I know what your favorite sport is. Coach Ryan knows what your favorite sport is. I'll spell it, and you help me spell it. T, E. N, N, I. Tennis? Yes, you got it, you got it. Hey, welcome to our game, pal. I can see a champion. You feel like a champion? Mm -hmm. You are kind a champion. Of. We have exclusive access to top tennis players and are bringing you fresh, fun content every Tennis Tuesday. So check in each week at OutsideTheBall.com. And don't forget, we're talking tennis daily Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching Outside the Ball. Bye!